conditions so this is a very important issue that in the ASD VSD and the patent ductus arteriosus we can get a left to right shunt which means when the patient will born they look like a normal child atrial septal defect is one of the most common type of defects though the most common type of congenital heart disease is the VSD and ASD comes only after that and in the ASD there are varieties of uh, septal defect we can appreciate which is most common in the ASD is a defect which is known as secondum defect so you can see here from the picture the secondum defect which is basically a defect or a hole right at the center of the septum now this type of ASD is very common common among all other ASDs now when you see the ASD or any kind of left to right shunt it is also important to know that in these scenarios the blood flows from the left to right cardiac chambers so it is a good blood which is mixing up with the bad blood but it has not have any effect in the human body because despite there is a mixing this blood when it is going to the lung it is cleaning up again so patient will have a high oxygen saturation in the right chambers and the pulmonary artery this is a very important point once again so naturally when the blood is going to the left heart the blood going to the right heart from the left heart it is carrying more oxygen to the right heart it means the oxygen saturation goes up in the right chamber as well as in the pulmonary artery this patient has a normal pulmonic valve they do not have any problem in the pulmonary valve so the blood can um, freely go from the left heart to the from the right heart to the lungs these patients also have a normal left heart many of these patients they differ in the presentations many patients you can see in these cases that is symptomatic some patient could be showing a congestive heart failure in a severe case if the hole is too big and the most important thing to understand here that these patient are getting extra amount of blood in the right atrium because of this hole so when it is getting more blood in the right atrium which means it is sending more blood into the right ventricle which means it is sending more blood to the pulmonary circulation as a result of this thing patient to develop a pulmonary hypertension if you do not repair this ASD so once again to make sure that I get this point to you since there is mixing up of the blood a good blood is mixing with the bad, bad blood in the right chamber so the oxygen saturation of the right chamber should be elevated along with more oxygen in the pulmonary artery and these patients normally have a normal pulmonic valve so when I say PV it stands for the pulmonic valve and this patient should not have any problem with the left heart as well so the patient will also have a will also have a normal left heart now let us understand these two concepts the concept of ASD VSD as well as in the PDA also or any kind of left to right shunt when there is a left to right shunt exist with a hole in the heart typically in the septum the, when the baby will born the baby will born normally with a normal pink color there would not be any cyanosis of the baby if the left to right shunt persists for long time it means the right ventricle is getting more blood than usual which also mean 
that is excess extra amount of blood which is going to the pulmonary circulation and pulmonary vessels so at a given moment this particular patient patient's lung is receiving more blood from the right ventricle which will produce a pulmonary congestion and eventually pulmonary hypertension now when the pulmonary hypertension would develop then the right ventricle will find it difficult to send blood it has to work hard to overcome this pulmonary hypertension so as a result of this thing in the long run this patient to develop a right ventricular hypertrophy and when there is a right ventricular hypertrophy develops which might take some time the right ventricular chamber pressure will increase it will increase gradually but it will certainly increase so a point will come when the right ventricular chamber pressure would be more than the left ventricular chamber pressure or left heart chamber pressure so we are getting a scenario when the chamber pressures of the right heart is more than the chamber pressure of the left heart which will now reverse the shunt or the flow of the blood so now the blood which is present on the right chamber is now will go to the left chamber it means the blood which is in the right chamber that is the bad blood is going to the right chamber is going to the left chamber which has a good blood and now mixing with up so now the left chamber is getting a blood which is mixed with a bad blood so the oxygen pressure of the blood present in the left chamber will go down and this blood will be circulating into the system and the baby will be cyanotic this is known as azinger complex and how would you know clinically the patient has developed azinger complex the patient would produce a cyanosis clinically the baby who was not cyanosis now he is cyanosis or she is cyanosis it means the patient has developed the azinger complex it is very important to understand that effect of this complex it can be seen in any types of left to right shunt so to simplify that azinger complex complex can be seen in asd it can be seen vsd as well as in the patent ductus arteriosus one of the important component of the azinger complex is right ventricular hypertrophy as well as the pulmonary hypertension the next important and the most common type of congenital heart disease is a vsd please remember that many children or child they can born with a vsd and if the vsd is very small you don't need any kind of treatment it will spontaneously close within 2 years of life vsds which are big you need to close them for that you can wait so these are the various uh, pictures of the vsds most vsds of the ventricular septal defect or hole in the uh, intraventricular septum uh, you can see on the membranous component of the septum here you can see arrow which is showing a hole in the septum 